And Barb Haig is with us this morning. And Barb, you brought someone with you today. Yes, good morning. Yes, I brought Dr. Kevin Patrick with me this morning. He's a professor at IUP in Geography and Regional Planning, and he'll be doing one of our walks later this month. Yeah, well, there's an interesting walk. We're talking about, of course, the third annual Indiana County Decathlon. Uh, and there's a different type of walk on the schedule for tomorrow. Yes. M- tomorrow morning, we have our first indoor walk, and that will be at uh, Martin's Grocery Store. Mm-hmm. We're going to walk with a nutritionist, uh, Nicole Dan Payne, who is a dietitian with IRMC. She's bringing, She, along with some IUP dietetic interns, are going to be doing walks with groups of seven or eight people around the grocery store to teach them how to read labels and make healthy choices in the grocery store and how to navigate it. And dodge shopping carts. <laughs> and that too. That's always a good thing to do as well. So 9 a.m. anybody can come? 9 a.m. anyone can come. Just register if you don't mind so that we, we're sure to have enough people, mm-hmm. enough of the dietetic interns to come and uh, lead the folks. So the phone number that you call is 724 724- Three five seven eight zero eight eight, and you can just register. That's not too late. Just yeah. go ahead and give them a call. Yeah, and that's the Institute for Healthy Living, isn't it? It's yes, IRMC. it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Wonderful. So that is one walk that is coming up, and that's tomorrow. You've got a couple coming up uh, on March the 23rd as well. Yes, we have two of them that day, and they're both coal walks in different communities. Uh, so our coal history here in Indiana, will be talking about that. And we'll start at Ernest at 9 o'clock in the morning on the 23rd. We'll meet at McMillan Park, and uh, James Clapp, former social studies teacher, yeah. which many people know. Jimmy's a good guy. <laughs> He's going to give us the, the Ernest version of the coal walk. Mm-hmm. And then at 11 o'clock, we're going to go over to Clymer. We'll meet at Lee Street Park. And we'll have John Busavicki give us a presentation. And uh, John has a difficulty walking, but he's going to, we're being creative on how he can join us. So I yeah. think that'll be fun. And yeah. he's really looking forward to it. Oh, that's good. John is such a good guy. And uh, we miss him here at Indiana in the morning. Uh, he is always, a good guy. Always used to come in and visit with us a lot. So that brings us to the end of the month. We're just talking about some events that are scheduled this month. And uh, on March the 30th, two events, but one of those is the one with Dr. Patrick, who's here in the studio with us today. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And the other one is uh, Bird Walk. We're fr- partnering with the Friends of the Parks with mm-hmm. their Bird Walk. The Todd Bird Club is going to do a walk at 8 o'clock in the morning at Yellow Creek Park. We'll meet at the office. Mm-hmm. And then at 10 o'clock, we can meet Dr. Patrick at IRMC Park here on North mm-hmm. 7th Street and do a tour of, of Indiana Borough. Of uh, downtown architecture and business history and take a look at some houses and see how Indiana has been assembled over the years. It's amazing to look at the architecture of Indiana. We, we drive by it every day, and probably we don't take a look at the actual buildings we're driving by, but it really is rich, isn't it? Uh, very rich. Uh, that's, uh, everything that has happened in Indiana has been written in the architecture, and you could read it like a book as yeah. you go down and uh, see the houses or the, uh, the facades of the businesses, see how they've changed and They've uh, all been built at different time periods or remodeled at different time periods, Mm -hmm. and therefore they reflect different time periods. Yeah. Uh, Let's start on Philadelphia Street, because Mm -hmm. you take a walk up and down Philadelphia Street, you see buildings of every sort and really unique architecture. Every sort. Uh, uh, You go all the way back to the 1840s, uh, and the very first commercial buildings uh, that are in downtown Indiana, some of them are still standing, Uh, the one at uh, Philadelphia and 6th Street. In the northeast corner mm-hmm. uh, is an old Federalist building that goes back to the mid 19th century, uh, all the way up until uh, the more uh, recent past, uh, postmodern buildings that uh, reflect a, a reinterpretation of older architecture. Now, we even have a handful of uh, remnants from the 1950s. Yeah, yeah. Well, talk about the old courthouse, if you will, uh, because uh, that's, uh, that's a gem, isn't it? A gem. Uh, absolute gem. Uh, the old courthouse at, right there at the middle of town at 6th in Philadelphia, uh, which is just, uh, they, it's, uh, they pulled all the stops when they uh, built the old courthouse. Uh, they, it was built to be the most impressive building in town and, and, and in fact, the symbolic center of a county. Uh, so in 1870, they put that up uh, in its Second Empire style. Uh, which is was popular at the time, mm-hmm. uh, and then loaded it full of uh, columns and pediments and, and the bell tower, and it has, has since been the symbolic center of Indiana. 
So when we do this event on uh, on the 30th, are you actually going to be walking from building to building or section yes. to section? Uh, yes. And then off into the neighborhoods. Uh, and then off into the neighborhoods, right, especially 6th Street uh, that will go up and down Philadelphia Street. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's taking a look at the commercial core. And anytime we've done this, uh, people who join us, uh, they in many ways, they know uh, more than I do about a different aspect. They remember Brody's department store. They remember the G.C. Murphy's. They remember the, uh, the uh, Woolworths. And they remember other businesses mm-hmm. along the way. In fact, some of uh, the people in Indiana still refer to these buildings by yeah. old businesses that no longer exist. And so it's always fun to have people come out and people to share their experiences and say, oh, I remember when my mom used to work there at mm-hmm. Brody's department store. We used to eat lunch at the lunch counter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you get to uh, South 6th and... Um school or south church six, south six yeah. and church south, south six church, right yeah um people might uh you know I, I don't think people drive by that area without stopping and saying wow no it's that. just a wonderful street that's it was uh, it's something we call like the professional a street like there was a professional a street and a professional maybe b street and a c street where all the most important people uh, in town used to build their houses uh, mm-hmm. Back before the automobile, when people built their houses in town, and they built on the main streets. You know, the main streets had streetcar service. They had water and sewer service first. They were paved. Uh, and so uh, people of means, uh, judges and lawyers and merchants, built their houses on the main streets of town rather than out in the suburbs. And 6th Street, South 6th Street and North 6th Street are just a great residential streets for seeing uh, the type of architecture that they were building in the late 19th and early 20th century. So South 6th Street is late 19th century, mm-hmm. uh, and the last of the great Victorian houses uh, went up between, uh, like we were saying, uh, church, school, yeah. down to the historical society, the Clark House. Mm-hmm. And then when you go to North 6th Street, that's the early 20th century, and the historic revival-style houses that were built between Philadelphia Street up to about Croyland uh, were all built at that time. And uh, that's also the street that carried the streetcar. Yeah. Uh, so the streetcar that went all, all the way out to Clymer, it's hard to believe that you could take a streetcar to Clymer as well as a streetcar to Ernest. Mm-hmm. And that went out North Stick Street. Right? And it, it's amazing that, that Indiana has its historic fabric is still here. And so you can still uh, read the city right, as it was developed so many years ago. When you get students in the classroom and um, you are able to sort of um, open their eyes and, and sort of put them on the architect's drawing table a little bit, what, what are some of the great highlights that, um, that you want to point out to them stylistically of what architects were trying to do at, at a given period? I think the, the best is um, the common landscapes that you don't generally see. Uh, that all of a sudden is revealed to you. And, and it doesn't take much to, un- to see the hallmarks of a particular style, uh, let's say a, a, a Queen Anne style or a, an Italianate style uh, or a Georgian revival style from the, the early 20th century. And once people see that it's only a handful of elements that make this, uh, they're amazed to see it everywhere. Yeah, uh, And that's probably what the interesting thing about it is, that it's It surrounds us wherever we go. And so initially, it seems like a lot of complicated terminology that you don't know what the sequence is. Mm -hmm. But then you're just inundated with it over and over again. And so you learn how to read it yourself. Uh, And many students have said that once they've got the the, uh, their way of seeing these architectural styles in their head, they can't get it out. And now they see it everywhere. Another of the uh, great aspects, and I don't know, Barb, that uh, the uh, the walk is going to, uh, you know, if people have their hamstrings stretched out, if it's going to make its way up to the top of Vinegar Hill or not. But uh, that's <laughs> that's an amazing, uh, fascinating walk, too, isn't it? It, it is. So we'll try to loop around. Uh, oh, yeah? And, and go up at 6th Street, maybe we'll loop around Vinegar Hill and come down the steps. Maybe because the steps are great. I mean, we're our awesome. own little uh, street steps mm-hmm. uh, for Indiana that gives a, a great view of uh, IRMC Park. Yeah. Uh, so we'll try to loop around there past uh, Jimmy Stewart's parents' house, 
get to that neighborhood and the size of the houses there uh, is, is right. yeah, it's just astounding. Right. And, but then stylistically, um, you almost look like you say the architects, they're just having fun. At that <laughs> they're point. having fun, right. <laughs> they, they have trying to outdo have, each other. <laughs> right. Yeah, they have uh, clients who can pay for it and they're happy to build it if somebody can pay for it. Yeah, terrific stuff. So that is coming up on March the 30th, 10 a.m. for that one, Dr. Kevin Patrick's Architecture Walk in downtown Indiana. Barb, I know that uh, you and your line of work, you appreciate that, don't you? Oh, absolutely. And I'm hoping some of our uh, my coworkers will be able to join us too. It's a, it's wonderful to have Dr. Patrick. He, he gave us a tour of Blairsville a few years ago, and we had a wonderful uh, look at the buildings down there. So I'm really excited to see his uh, version of Indiana. So yeah. I'm really, really happy he can join us. So we think about that and, uh, and appreciate so much the architecture here in Indiana and across Indiana County. And at the same time, you're sneaking in some exercise there too, Mark. All right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, you always you know need to be that? distracted from exercise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that ex- always works best for Exercise could yeah. turn into really drudgery, uh, but uh, yeah. it's so much fun to, to be able to, to see the things that generally we just, we pass on by. We're busy. We're busy people. We're we're distracted by uh, any number of things. This would be a good distraction. This is an excellent distraction, and yeah. it'll be a lot of fun too. Terrific. Now, uh, after mine, which is on when is mine again? March March thirtieth. March thirtieth. And, and is there any other before uh, other Doctor Patrick does her cemetery walk? Uh, uh, Mrs. Dr. Patrick. Uh, uh, other Dr. Patrick. I like that. <laughs> You're not going to give her credit at all, are you? <laughs> she's, she's doing a cemetery walk for us at St. Bernard's, and that will be in May. Mm-hmm. May. So on May 18th, and we'll talk about that coming up in the next couple of months. But yeah, plan ahead for that one. On May 18th at 10 o'clock in the morning, we'll meet at St. Bernard's in front of the mausoleum. Boy, that is so Cemetery walks to me are just amazing. Yes. Fascinating. Fascinating uh, it, It's uh, like the coda to the architecture walk. Yeah. Uh, that all the names that are on the buildings downtown eventually get chiseled in stone at the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea uh, to, to think about it that way. But uh, that is one of many walks that are planned here for the uh, Indiana County Decathlon, Barb. Uh, let's focus in upon that because uh, we don't want to lose sight of the fact that uh, one of the uh, great things that have happened here in Indiana County in the last three years uh, has been this particular event that is designed to get people to not be sitting on their couch all the time. The weather turns, and, and now it's time to get out. It's time to get get the, the fresh air pumping in the lungs, get your get your blood going a little bit, and, and that's what it's all about. That's exactly what it's all about, and we do it during a time of year when people tend to be more sedentary and say, oh, it's cold outside. I'll wait to the summertime to, to catch up with my exercise. So we do, the, we do this decathlon. We plan this decathlon between February and May so that we can get people out and enjoying the, the all the things that are here to offer here in Indiana, both in the urban settings as well as in our park settings, because mm-hmm. There's lots, so much to know, so much to see, so much to uh, to enjoy. Absolutely. So there are these particular walks, which are targeted walks, but then there are the other walks that you can take on the, the trails and uh, all of the wonderful different facilities that are here in Indiana County. People want to learn more about it. What do they need to do? Come to our Facebook page. We have Facebook pages for the uh the Indiana County Decathlon. On Facebook, it's called Indiana County Walking Decathlon. Mm -hmm. Uh, We took the walking out because we do more than just walking as far as the decathlon goes, but also we have an Indiana County WalkWorks page, and you can find out more about uh, the WalkWorks program and all of the communities where we have the WalkWorks routes. And we'll be walking those routes for our Ernest Walk as well as for our Climber Walk. So that'll be fun, too. Terrific. You know, this this walk that you're doing, Dr. Patrick, it's going to, it sounds like it's just going to be a, a, a great fun experience. As long as it doesn't rain. Yeah, well. It, it, we'll be doing it rain or shine. Rain or shine. Rain or shine. Bring so, your umbrellas. There's that. There's that. Um, but, you know, just walking behind the guy walking through IUP's campus, looking at all that architecture would be amazing, mm-hmm. too. Just good stuff. Thank you both for coming in to visit with us this morning. Thank you so much Uh, for having us. We appreciate it. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM 1160 and 101.1 FM.